Yeah, welcome back. This is still the weekend show, and today is Global Hand Washing Day. I don't know how, if you know the importance of washing your hands, but I'm sure that every Nigerian during the COVID era actually uh, um, knew the essence of washing of hands because uh, during that period, a lot of people were not sick. Mm. Mm. They had to. <laughs> a lot of people were not sick. So, you're welcome to the weekend show. Yes. I, I, I know one, one thing with um, uh, hand, hand washing is that several people... Uh, believe that because we've been washing our hands mm. regularly then we could or we know how to do it mm. so and that is why discussions like this are very important to help us actually learn the best way to wash our hands and today to do justice to that we'll be talking about this global hand washing day talking about hygiene personal hygiene but especially as it has to do with your hands how mm -hmm. why is it important how can we form it as a habit these are more some of the conversations you'll be listening to this morning and to do justice to that we have yes. um we'll go to freeman she is the executive director of cmc cycd Good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning. Thank you. So, like I said, in the beginning, somebody popular said, Ini the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the beginning, people didn't see the essence of hand washing until COVID time. But now, it was actually shocking knowing that we actually have Global Hand Washing Day. When I told somebody, they were like, oh, there's a day like that. So, I want to know what's really the importance in the hands. What is it about the hands that okay. make it so important that um, the entire globe had to recognize that there is need to be washing it? Okay, thank you very much. You know, when we talk about the hands, mm. the hands is what we use in doing everything we okay. want to do. So the hand gets soiled, it gets in contact with um, bacteria, it gets infected, and then mostly it's the same hand we use in eating so by eating it means we're ingesting those bacteria so the hand washing is basically meant to make sure that uh that we live a healthy life mm. by washing our hands properly with soap and water mm. that diseases will be reduced okay and then yeah. sorry you mentioned about COVID. even before covid ebola there was a time of ebola mm. if yeah. you remember yes, yes. 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 after ebola everything it was like everything came down yeah COVID-19 came up again. Oh, really? Ebola, right? actually. Ebola, yes. But Ebola <laughs> was small of the not so gary. <laughs> <laughs> I think COVID actually opened that. Yeah, it was more. Yeah. 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 Also, um, still thinking about hand wash. Um, you, you know that, let me use Igbo people for example. We were brought up to uh, uh, being told that, look, you must wash your hands before you eat and after eating it's like a culture, a culture. But, but at times it seems as if we're not doing it enough um why is hand watching very important and why or how to what extent will it be expected that it will be considered that you've washed your hands enough or look at what you you've done and it will be taken for example that you are doing it properly okay you know hand wash is not only before and after eating okay okay um, there are critical times for hand washing. Mm. Okay. When you're cooking, okay. when you go to the toilet to defecate, when you change the baby's diaper, when your hand gets soiled, at any point in time that you feel like the bacteria is, you know, it's everywhere. Mm. You need to wash your hands with soap and water and then with alcohol-based sanitizer. I think it was during that Ebola, yes. um, COVID-19, that the sanitizer became, well, more, yeah, became more but, popular. But, but, but you know, very importantly, uh, let me also ask this question. Most times, when you talk about this, people will tell you, oh, if I'm like it, I can't do that. Mm. Do you get? Yeah. So why should that consciousness be there that, look, there are bacteria that you might not even see, even while your hands are looking neat, that you need to wash your hands? Well, that consciousness, that's what we do in sensitization. Mm. They need to be aware. One thing is being aware, getting the knowledge and practicing it. Mm. Most times they know, but to practice this is the way we have the problem. Okay. okay? That's where we have the problem. So, a proper sensitization, sensitization and awareness creation, yes. they'll get to know the importance. Example, sometimes we are guilty. You go to buy this tiger nut. Yeah. Um, you test it, in, in you, you, you put it in your mouth. <laughs> there was one woman that was buy, buying one day, um, where I went to buy. She just carried some inside her mouth. I said, Madam, did you wash it? She was like, 
She has already chewed this. She had to spit it out. But it has already gone in. Yes. So there are many other things that people... Or fruits. You want to buy Odara. Oh, Odara. Oh, Odara. So without even washing. <laughs> A lot of things. Even cola. Mm. Cola no. They don't wash it. Well, cola no. They will argue that it's already inside it's it's something. <laughs> 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 yes, that's that's that you pull this out of something. <laughs> so you are washing it. Okay, but you know I want to know? A lot of people will say... Uh, wash, wash, wash. I, I know an old man that will say, I come on, say, I can't mm. even know more, no, no, can mm, exactly. mm -hmm. Now, my question is, what and what are those diseases or sicknesses or, or illness that can be transmitted from the hand? Yeah. Because I feel like um, when we're being specific, people will get to know. You know, because our people mostly suffer from malaria typhoid. Yeah. And they will tell you that malaria is mosquito. Mosquito. Mm -hmm. They will tell you typhoid is what are you drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't believe that these things have to do with hence. Okay. So my question, but I did observe, which I did mention during the intro, that during COVID, we had less sick people. It was funny, it was like magic, but everybody was healthy. Because they were practic conscious and they were practicing. Yeah. Yes. So what I want to really house, know. They wash them. Yeah. So I want to really know what were what are those diseases that we can contact um, via dirty hands. Okay. You mentioned typhoid. It's one of them. Oh really? Yes. Okay. Dirty water, dirty hands. It's focal aura. All those bacteria they are seen in shit. Okay. You have um, thi um diarrhea. Have hepatitis. I can't remember mm. this one. Uh, so those are there. There are many children under five years that they are at high risk. And most of the time you find out that they will not tell you because they use their hands most often. They uh, crawl with their hands. They put their hands in their mouth and they don't wash their hands. They have, most of the time, they have stomach upset. They have running stomach. Mm. They will not come, mommy, my, I have running stomach. My stomach is paining me. Mm. So what actually is the problem? But those, by the time those bacteria get accumulated, the adverse effects start coming out. All right. Um, if you're just joining us, we are looking at Global Hand Washing Day. Today is the day the world globally will be looking at this very important aspect of our social lives. And we are looking at it. How do we prevent diseases through uh, effective hand washing? Because of all just in April, I cannot in our work, we are work person. And yeah. in work person. Those are the questions we are asking on the show this morning. So let's uh, go for a short break. We'll come back. We'll continue with a discussion here. news for an Umbra Broadcasting Service ABS audience. You can now watch ABS television through any of these ways. Buy a terrestrial antenna and connect to your television. Search ABS Channel 24 Orca or ABS Channel 27 on each. Install Star Times Cable Decoder and search ABS Channel 113. Install Metro Digital Cable Decoder and search ABS Channel 29. Watch ABS TV on your smart TV or smartphone by downloading an Umbra Broadcasting Service app on Google Play Store. Also watch via ABS Facebook page at ABS Radio television and abs youtube page at abs television orca abs tv is now also on satellite you can watch us from anywhere in nigeria and other african countries simply install rtv decoder brand and tune to channel 315 or install any free to air satellite decoder and search for abs tv whichever option you choose stay abreast of breaking news documentaries children's shows talk shows comedy sports movies and lots more on your darling tv station for advice and program sponsorship. Contact 0803-388-8526 or 0806-883-9902. ABS, Heartbeat of the East. All right, in the one again, to go now on a nearby no punkwe manambra state come no ano kwam with anambra broadcasting service on how we ban. If you are not listening to them, if you are not watching them, that means you are blind. Open your eyes and see good things, and good things will come to you. Hey bay, one of my one.
great news for a number of broadcasting service ABS audience. You can now watch ABS television through any of these ways. Buy a terrestrial antenna and connect to your television. Search ABS Channel 24 Orca or ABS Channel 27 on each. Install Star Times Cable Decoder and search ABS Channel 113. Install Metro Digital Cable Decoder and search ABS Channel 29. Watch ABS TV on your smart TV or smartphone by downloading a number of broadcasting service app on Google Play Store. Also watch via ABS Facebook page at ABS Radio Television and ABS YouTube page at ABS Television Orca. ABS TV is now also on satellite. You can watch us from anywhere in Nigeria and other African countries. Simply install our TV decoder brand and tune to channel 315 or install any free to air satellite decoder and search for ABS TV. Whichever option you choose, stay abreast of breaking news, documentaries, children's shows, talk shows, comedy, sports, movies and lots more on your darling TV station. For adverts and program sponsorship, contact 0803-388-8526 or 0806-883-9902. ABS, Heartbeat of the East. Ndibai, si wete lago neba nasi nege ABS. Maka ne ABS ABN no mose. ABS ABN no mose. This is ABS, Heartbeat of the East. Welcome back to the program. It's still the weekend show on our segment for this morning. We're looking at preventing diseases through effective hand washing. And we have here, she's been speaking with us, Ugochi Freeman, the executive director, CMCYD. Uh, she's been talking to us on the importance of uh, hand washing. Good morning and welcome once again. Thank you. We're also now joined by Dr. Rose Amasiani. She is the state. Hygiene Education Officer. Whenever you talk about hand washing in Alhambra State, her face usually reflects. So she's also here joining us now to uh, discuss this very important topic. Good morning, Dr. Rose. Good morning, all. So, Dr. Rose, you've been listening to the conversation. We're talking about Global Hand Washing Day. So, I would like to know from your own perception, as a state worker now, what importance is placed on the hand? Why is it so essential that we wash our hands? And then another question I would like to ask is, we get to hear campaigns about hand washing. It was all over the air during the COVID time, but now it seems as if it's, we don't really hear it enough. Is it that now it's no more that serious? You can wash, you cannot wash, or it's still there, it's just that people have forgotten. What exactly is happening? Is it that the hand is no more important? The hand is very, very essential. For prevention of disease, prevent, uh, control, prevent, prevent IPC, IPC, infection okay. prevention and control. Mm -hmm. We know that our health, our health lies in our hands. Yes. This our hand touches many things, and this uh, the, our hand is what we use to put anything in our mouth. Mm -hmm. So we have to get very important care of this our hands by doing effective hand washing under the running water. Not only washing because some people don't do hand washing effectively mm. oh. and this thing doesn't take much time higher 20 seconds if you if you, you imbibe the habit of hand washing you know you the diseases will run away from your home because when i have not i'm, I'm not uh, been the hygiene education officer i don't know the importance of hand washing okay. but since that habit is in 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 born in my family now i don't think that we don't we go to hospitals Mm. And other aspects of hygiene, other five domains of hygiene. Once you take care of uh, other five, uh, five domains of hygiene, five domains. Uh, yes, uh, personal hygiene, food hygiene, safe extra disposal, uh, environmental hygiene, and safe water chain. Mm. Because all these domains, you know that hygiene, uh, improper hygiene causes uh, maybe 90% of diseases will suffer. Mm. About 10 is, is vaccine preventable. Mm. But the other ones are hygiene preventable. If you, if you imbibe the, the habit of doing all these five domains of hygiene, maintaining hygiene, you see that you have a healthy generation. 
So hand, hand washing now is very important. At critical times, mm. we have critical times to wash hands. And the way to wash that hand, we have a way to wash hands, not just soaking our hand in some blue, yeah, you do it, some blue, uh, some blue, some blue, some blue, some blue uh, uh, hand waiting and not hand washing. Okay. We have to demonstrate hand washing. First of all, I told you, say, under running water. Okay. First of all, we have to wait our hands. Mm. There must be soap. If you don't have soap, people will tell you don't have money for soap. Ash is also in the same thing you can use to wash hands because the same chemical in ash is also in the soap. soap. So when we wet our hands effectively, you know, we wet our hands under running water, we will now touch the soap, whether it's the tablet or liquid soap. You now allow the soap to lather. Yeah. Allow the soap to lather. lather. Then you have to see what I'm doing. We know that dirt percolates in our fingers. Mm. That is why right. in, when we are second, in primary school, secondary school, they only tell us to cut our fingers short to avoid uh, taking back deaths. And you know some people, you might, you might want to go to well, clean up your bum bum after the vacation. Mm. Tissue might break up. You will not know that Tissue. some fecal material will remain in your hands. If mm. you just do hand waiting under inside the bucket or even uh, without using soap, do you understand? The fecal material will, co will percolate in your nails mm. so what you have to do as i'm doing this thing now i'm cleaning this my nails mm. on my palm okay. so after the you know, initial i was i laddered the soap soap yes. was ladder so i have to you see mm. in between my fingers dead percolate the baby now we always wash like this mm, mm, mm. so uh, with some, our fathers we normally bring in buckets so they will just put hand like this wash as I like see. yes without soap so if we just wash in between our hands we turn at the back mm. Mm. Then there's a particular place we normally forget, our thumb. We always forget this thumb. Mm. And that is where we normally used to do all this. Uh, so you, <laughs> you understand? Yes. After washing, you bring it close to this place, at ah. the elbow. This thing doesn't take more than 20 seconds. Oh, okay. When you wash, uh, the, reach at the elbow, because you might be you not, know, uh, our economy now is very, very yeah. existing. You might be just a uh, bottle soup and uh, all this, uh, all this uh, yeah, uh, water now. Yeah. So you might come close to this place, I know we'll, maybe the soup is very yes. palatable. <laughs> so after you, cream, you, you rinse mm. okay. your hands. And we don't use towel now. Oh well. Yes, because that towel might be contaminated. So normally you need to blow their nose or clean their face. Oh, and use it back and contaminate your hands so it will fall on the ground. So after you do a drying. Mm. Can you tissue? After a drying, you, your hand is very clean. Now, before we come to Ugochi, I want to ask this question. Because whenever we talk about hand washing and using tap water, uh, or rushing water, running water. Mm. Running water, people will tell you that, look, we don't even have water. Talk more of having enough to make it run and some people will even get maybe a bucket and the whole family washes their hands inside how do we address the issue of water so as to get this target of achieving a an effective hand washing process we know that water is the essential commodities mm. and uh, maybe in, in in you if you don't have water you there's what we call veronica bucket okay a, a bucket with tap yeah. There's another one that came from India. Mm -hmm. You know when India took the first position in, in the whole world as number one open defecation free country? Mm -hmm. They have to do everything possible to make sure they come out from that distance. And Nigeria was the second. Since that time, Nigeria has, since 2017, Nigeria has become number one. Mm -hmm. Okay, India left 2019, I think. Mm -hmm. Since that time, Nigeria has become the number one open defecation free. That, that was why the president declared set up emergency on wash. Mm -hmm. So that every aspect of wash, water, sanitation, and hygiene, which are the components that are in this, in, in, in separ inseparable. Mm -hmm. If you don't, have, if you are talking about hand washing, there must be water. Mm -hmm. yeah. When there is no water, you must use the one that can that is more economical, safe, and cheap. Use the rental bucket or that one. Then you can use bring a, a swan water can, mm -hmm. open it at the top and also in, in the middle, mm -hmm. so that no. At the, uh, just open it here and also so that water can run out. Mm. You now if you open, if you bring your milk, if you don't open it in two places, water cannot rush out. Yes, mm. Then you hang it. That one saves water also. That one can, that's one water can, can wash the hands for a family for the whole day. Okay. So it saves water. All right. So okay. the people will not tell us now because they don't have water, they will not wash their hands. Mm. Because they use water to cook. Mm. Why can't they wash their hands before they eat? Okay. So water is not, even if you don't have a, maybe running water, you can improvise, you use uh, this uh, 
Uh, this one I said now, the technology from India, we can use Veronica bucket. Oh, that one also saves water. Okay, so I'd like to come to you, Gucci. Do you think it's, it's possible for us to get to that level where um, we don't have to be campaigning about people washing their hands? It becomes a habit. Is it possible? Can we get to that point? Because at a point, I thought we actually got there during COVID. But mm, as soon as COVID, as soon as the whole pressure seemed to die down, it's as if everybody went back to their normal life. In fact, initially in church, we don't used to shake hands. Mm -hmm. But now you go to some churches, and they see yeah. somebody will bring her head, and you don't shake, and the person starts feeling grudges towards you. So you think we can actually get to that point where we will know that hygiene of the hand is very important? Yes. Is it possible? It's possible. What can be done? It's continuous campaigning and sensitization. When she was talking, she said that before she became the education uh, I just, yes. she didn't understand the importance of hand, hand, hand washing. So yes. over time, when through um, various stakeholders, when people get sensitized, the women, the community leaders, the youth in schools, yeah. it should be part of the curriculum. It will enter. So constant sensitization. Constant sensitization. Yes. No one time, um, most times we resist change. Mm. Okay. <coughs> Resistance to change is a problem. Okay, please, but can you use this, because we don't really have time, mm -hmm. can you use this like, um, you said constant campaign, mm -hmm. constant sensitization change. Can you give like your final advice to people? Okay, my final advice to people is that we should continue the habit of hand washing. Mm -hmm. And then all stakeholders should rise up to the expectation. The government should do what they are supposed to do to make sure that schools we have hand washing facilities and before schools open those things should be in place okay, okay? then the women know the women the mothers are the nurse and the chef of the house so mm. in their meetings the women should sensitize their fellow women about the need for proper hand washing mm. then the private sectors too have a role to play what should they do? They should make sure that these facilities they can buy it and give to ah, most of the time Doc, your and final advice also my final advice is for people to consider hand washing as important as, as something that is very important. That is a do it yourself uh, uh, practice that is cheap, safe. It will prevent, it prevents us from contracting any kind of diseases that, can, that enters into our mouth. Even in health facilities, hand washing is very important. Thank you very much. Hand washing is very important. important. Thank you so much, Dr. Rose Amasiane, the State Hygiene Education Officer, Anambra State. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much. And also, Ugochi, Ugochi Freeman, the Executive Director, CMCYCD, for joining us on the show this morning. It's been nice having both of you. Thank you very much. Also, remember, um, cleanliness is next to godliness. And uh, once you are very conscious of your, the hygiene state of your body, your mind too is also important. I think you have less reason to visit the hospital. And then, yes, and from here we'll take you over to our breakfast news studio for breakfast news at 8. Stay with us.